The Compilation tab is a fantastic summary tab within Diasend that will take you through all the key metrics around different areas of a patient's diabetes, whether it be their blood glucose, their CGM values, or even values associated with their insulin pump. And we even store carb information, which can be incredibly useful during a consultation. Starting at the top, I'll take you through all of the information that we have here. So, on Diasend, you're able to set the time period that you wish to look at. So in this case, 14 days. In the boxes below, we have the summaries. So for each of the criteria here, we have the average, the standard deviation, and the number of results that have gone to generate these statistical figures. So for glucose, for example, we have an average of 6.4. Now 6.4 could mean two different things. A patient has sat consistently, at 6.4 for the 14 day period, or they've gone very high and very low. And then 6.4 is the average between these two high and low results. You can't tell that with average alone. However, by looking at the standard deviation, which we see below, in this case, 2.7, you get a measure for how much this patient is fluctuating. So we can see that most of the results sit between 6.4 plus or minus 2.7. So we know that this patient is going from 3.7 all the way up to 9.1. And to get that information, we're using 20 tests, which averages out at 1.4 tests per day. You'll see as we look across at CGM, the values change somewhat. Now with CGM, you get a much higher sample rate you can see within the 14 day period, we have 3,450 results to go off, opposed to 20 results for blood glucose. So we see here that there's a much higher average of 8.9, and that the patient is actually fluctuating by plus or minus four units in this case. With an average of 246.4 data points each day. You get the same information for insulin and carbs as well. So this can be a good indication, for instance, looking at insulin, whether a patient is fluctuating a lot, whether they're having a lot of bolus or basal, and you can get a good indication just from these figures here as to how a patient is behaving. 